Hey guys, it's Yoshi Man with Extreme. I'm back with a new video. And something looks very different today. As you probably know, there's the amiibos. Even though they're not out yet, but here, the villager and the Isabel. And look. They have new pictures now for the Legend of Zelda. Now. And there's all the cards, the Blue Falcon, Tanuki Car, B Dasher, and Master Cycle. It's actually nice. So anyways, I am going to show all of those courses. Which is just going to be fun. I'm going to play as Link. Because he's one of the DLC characters. Um, not that play as Tanuki or a Cat Peach. Um, they do look good characters, but some people will sometimes... Eh. I'm just gonna play as Link. I really love Link in Mario Kart 8. Now we'll use the um, Master Cycle, and the Triforce Tires, and the Highland Kite. Okay, no teams, all items, 100cc. I'm gonna do 100cc in normal, just because um, I probably need to practice on these tracks. So, um, we're going to start here, these two courses, these two will come out like May 2015, so anyways, we will start the red, we will start, um, the egg cup, so we're going to start with Yoshi Circuit. I really love the Yoshi Circuit course, it's really good, but there is one little tricky part in this course. I'll, I will show it to you later. Look at all these Yoshis. Well, it's mostly look like a Yoshi town to me. So, yeah, it does look like a Yoshi town. And that's Lucas Horn. Oh yeah, Tanuki Mario is in the race, so, yeah. Okay, let's start here. Alright, so, we're almost to the part that gets tricky. Alright, here's the part, like, you're trying to drift here. But sometimes you might lay on the grass or hit by a piranha. That's the trickiest part. Get through that track. So you gotta be a little bit skillful to drift on the track. Pretty much. Even though this is still a good course. But the tunnel thing from the shortcut, it's not even there. So that kind of sucks. I never even get the chance to do it. Well, I don't even have Mario Kart Double Dash, so... Uh, I probably might get Mario Kart Double Dash, because it looks like an awesome game. It's a pretty popular game. Mario Kart 8 is so good, though. Because it has a lot of characters to play as. Even though there are some... new characters coming by. I'm surprised Link is finally in the game. I'm just so happy. And this is the first time, like, Link ever been so happy. And, uh, sometimes he gets sad when he loses. And that's the coolest thing ever. And I can't wait for Villager and Isabel to come out. Oh yeah, Dry Bowser's coming back from Maria Hurley. That's also an exciting thing. Um, so there's one track that, that was here like four times already, which is um, Super Nintendo Rainbow Road. And that course, um, it's been like in four times, so that means we have free Rainbow Road courses in, this, in Mario Kart 8, and we have free Wario courses in my party and two Yoshi courses. That's really cool seeing that. 
Oh yeah, we have the ice stage as well. I really like I really like the ice stage. Anyways, on the Excite Bike Arena. I really love this course and like you can do a bunch of tricks on it. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a like and um as you probably know I hopefully I'm gonna get a new computer somehow. I'll still upload some videos going on. And I was thinking I might probably do a Mario Kart Wii Let's Play on myself. I think I would do only 150cc. Actually, I'll do all 50cc, 100cc, and 150 in your mode because they have a lot of characters in that game, so I'll just do that. And I'll do an extra video on the battle mode. That's what I think about it. Oops. Got the mud. Alright, that's a good one. Oh god, that was close. For some reason the mud doesn't really slow you down that much. But maybe a little bit. This course on... Um, actually, it's... Side by Bermuda is pretty good because you can do like any kind of tricks and, and it's so different. There must be like a lot of types where they plan to play that track, so it's pretty much random. It's really nice. I'm going up here is really possible. Alright, I'm going to start Anyways, um, by the way, I pre-ordered Smash Bros. for you, and I can't wait to make a boxing video about it. I also pre-ordered the game adapter. I already have enough game controllers. I have, like, about two to use. Um, yeah. And I'm thinking I would buy a Meeple figure, too. I think I'll get, uh, Yoshi as my first one. Because... Yoshi is mostly my main. Okay, on the next one, Dragon Driftway. And this course, um, this dragon you probably realize it looks familiar from Super Mario Galaxy 2. The music is really amazing. It, it has some kind of Chinese music. As you can see it on the walls, you can see latitudes on the walls. It's such a pretty neat scene. It's really sweet. Latitude do, doing jitsu. And here's these anti gravity things here. Okay. I'll do the 
đấy nhá I'm waiting for you so I can destroy you. You probably not be here yet. Someone's catching up to me. And now there's the blue shell. Are you seriously kidding me? Oh, please. Well, we do, don't even think about it. I'm gonna pass you that. Come on, Lolly, you almost beat me there. Woohoo! He's looking. He's so happy. Alright. Our next one is Mute City. Mute City. One of the best courses on the DLC. And you probably know, um... There's a lot of boosts, boost areas in this track. It's really neat. And mostly you're anti-gravity, so... That's pretty sweet. As you see here, you probably already know this because this would give you more coins. And it's way more faster using it. For some reason, you still get coins while you use an item. I just found that this earlier. See? That's how it happened. Yeah. I don't know why they put coins as items. I don't know really why. I guess it just helps us to get more coins. I kind of, like ran out but I already have like 10. Could they just give me more coins than 10? Or my speed would be more and more faster. Hmm. That could be possible. Oh yeah, there was a shortcut back there, but you need a mushroom to do it. I tried it, but I, I, I tried it without a mushroom, but it didn't really work. Oh yeah, by the way, I have no school, so I decided to make a video of this, so I'm glad there's no school for me. Well, it was like windy outside yesterday. It was so... It was just blowing so hardly. So they just closed school for the day. Yeah. Pretty much. pretty good with the boost. I wonder if I can go for the shortcut. Yeah, see, right here, you need a mushroom to make it through. So I'm sorry I had to die from there, I'm just here to show you it. So you just need a mushroom to, to use that shortcut. But at least still one. I was ahead of everyone. Alright, now on to the Trifork Cup. Oh yeah, the Mute City, it, it's a little bit different, the music. That's pretty neat. Okay, on to Wario Gold Mine. Well, this course is really good, you know. Made this course.
course is really awesome now. I really enjoyed it. Those uh, mines are now can use for boost. Mario Kart Wii, you actually get hit by it. So then you, you just made Mario World's Mind a lot more better than I expected. <coughs> Excuse me. That's so Oh yeah, by the way, look right here. This looks very different from the Mario Kart Wii version. And the bats are still there, and as you can see, the shy guys are appearing on the course here. Which that's pretty cool, seeing the shy guys on this course. And here's the mine car I'm talking about. Oh, nice shell. And the shortcut, you have been all the way for it, it's still here. And that's a coin. Really Here's another shortcut. That's a eat. That is also a shortcut. But it's a little bit of a shortcut, but it makes the LB go a little faster. A bit. This area is a little bit different on Mario Kart Wii version on that track area. It's a little bit different. And four. Okay, we got three more races to go. Our next one is Super Nintendo at NES Rainbow Road. I suppose there's a third Rainbow Road. Even though this course was been in four games: Super Mario Kart, Super, uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario Kart Seven, and then Mario Kart Eight. I'm that's pretty surprising. I wonder if they're gonna have a a four frame of road. That would be kind of cool. But I think it might be in Game Boy Advance or the GameCube. And everyone wants Mario Coliseum. It was also on GameCube. And we have four Wario courses. And there's one XC N64 that hadn't been chosen yet, which is Wario Stadium. And I really want to try it really badly. Even though I did play on the Mario Kart 64 version of it. It's Okay. I did saw a hack of it on my Kart Wii. That's pretty neat. But now it's so easy to control on this course. It's a little bit better than Mario Kart 7 though. You don't really die that much. Don't hear those blue shells to make it even slower. Yes. Oh 
yeah, the amiibo I might get for, for this Mario Kart, I am pretty much going to get Captain Falcon, and Kirby, and Yoshi, and I don't know what else, probably Fox, or Samus, and probably Link's too. Actually, I think a friend of mine is going to bring a Link amiibo here, so I might probably do that. If my friend gets the Link amiibo, that's... And higher warriors, they have a, a link ability. But there is one question for for the December one. I wonder what Zelda is going to be for higher warriors. That is a good question. I wonder what's going to be look like with Zelda's ability, or probably Sheik's, or Gandor. Well, Toon Link's not in Hyrule Warriors, so, yeah. Um, okay, next, on to Ice, Ice Outpost. Mostly this course, it, the green and the yellow, is split up in two sections, which that's pretty cool. You split up. Splitting up. On the race. And there are some shortcuts in this one. Um, the second one was a little bit tricky to do, but I'll show it later. I know what the first one is. The first one's really easy. I find. You have to go to the green lane to do the shortcut. Alright. And you can also go on the orange section as well. So that's pretty neat. Move up to the bottom. Okay, here's the four, first shortcut. It's right here. And this jump here. But this one, that, that part is a little bit tricky, the second jump. Because you might actually fail if you actually, like, hit the wall of the jump. You might fall off and die, so probably watch out for that. Here's this other shortcut, which this is kind of tricky to do, but I actually finally got it this time. That shortcut was really tricky to do, and now i finally done it. My first time making it. <laughs> yep, that was my first time making it. That's really awesome. And I believe they're going to make an Animal Crossing course, which I can't wait for. Uh, I missed that shortcut. And here comes another blue shell. Mm. Why do they come? Um, in Mario Kart 8, the lightning comes way too often, doesn't it? Pretty much. Some people have a hard time with the lightning sometimes, but still. Ah, dang it! I didn't make it for the shortcut. Yeah, that's the only problem I have to use for. So you have to time it right to do it. So I'm probably... Oh my god, Shy Guy's pretty catching up to me. Better do something about that. Alright, we're almost on to our last lap. I thought it was orange, not yellow. Yeah, there's no way I can get for the short it's Boom, but I messed it up. <coughs> Alright, on to the last course. And it's starring Link. Boy, this is going to be fun to do. Hyrule Circuits. Boy, this is going to be so much fun. I really love this course. Instead of collecting coins, you collect rupee rubies. These green rubies, they're really awesome. We actually put rubies 
in here. It was Zelda Cannon. And there's a seam of the music. Oh yeah, there was a shortcut, but you have to use the mushroom for that. And the item sound, it becomes a Zelda theme of it, which I really like. I believe Super Smash Bros. is also at Mario Kart 8 stage. And also, if you get these three here, you get a shortcut there. That's really nice. <coughs> and I don't even know what these enemies are. They look like piranha plants. And I probably know what these bats are. I think they're enemies in Zelda. If you guys know what those plant enemies are, leave a comment what they are. I already know what those bats are. Yeah, I'm... This horse is really awesome. This is really good at most of it as we can see. Oh, I missed that last one. Sometimes the only problem, like if you miss a shortcut and, and you just hit the wall, which that's kind of bad. What is that? I still have no idea what that plan is. I know it's an enemy of. It's an enemy of Legend of Zelda, so. Hmm. Was this Master Cycle was from a past game or something? Or was it... Or it was new? I guess Link is like a elite like Waluigi, Rosalina, and Roy, pretty much. So, yeah. And we made it to the finish line, so I guess that's about it. We're done with all the DLC tracks. So I got. So I hope you enjoy, guys, these DLC tracks. And, um. If you like this video, give it a like. And so this is Yoshi Fan One Six Three. I'll see you guys for making more videos. Bye everyone.